southeastern Palm Beach counties. Hey guys, this is Josh from Sailing Vessel Airspeed, and we're in uh, in Miami, and we're getting ready to to uh, endure this uh, coming hurricane, which is, I guess, now a tropical storm. Um, Ada, Hurricane Ada, and it's right now. It's uh, between Cuba, somewhere in the Gulf Stream, between Cuba and uh, and the south coast of Florida. And we've got the boat all all hunkered down and all the lines doubled up and everything is pretty good in terms of uh, the security and the safety of the boat. And I'll flip it around. Now's a good opportunity to just uh, do a quick video and introduce uh, some of the other crew members here. Hey, Griffin. This is Griffin who's going to be five years old next week. Griffin's a little upset uh, at the way things have been going. Uh, he's fighting with his big brother here, Joshua. Joshy. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hi. Joshua is my uh, seven-year-old, uh, one of my first mates, and this is my, uh, my real first mate, Julie. Say hi. And Julie's here in the galley. We haven't even done a real boat tour yet. So um, I guess maybe we'll do a kind of boat tour right now, not a real one, just a little um, say hello and get to know each other. So this is the galley, and um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice galley, actually, and uh, Mama makes some really awesome, some really awesome meals here. I just got her a, a present. What, tell everybody what we got uh, for a present, Julie. An Instapot. Instapot. It's kind of like, um, I don't a know. A lifesaver. I have a way of buying uh, Julie some very special presents, um, you know, like for her birthday, I got her like a vacuum cleaner or something. <laughs> I'm going to go back here into the uh, port aft cabin here and uh, invade uh, David's space. David, are you here? Knock, knock. No, oh, you got lights on here. So this is the port aft cabin. It's a dark cave right now because I think that's how teenagers like it. David is... Uh, Almost well, 17 and a half, almost 18, and he um, he has really become quite the uh, the boat hand. And I would say, in terms of operations, David is definitely uh, the first. He's learned the systems um, incredibly well and uh, very impressive. Hey, want to show everyone your room, your cabin? Okay, let's open up the door, bud. And this is Joshua and Griffin's cabin. So we'll go into a lot of detail when we finally eventually do a, uh, a boat tour. But uh, we have it set up. These uh, Genoa 54 DSs are really cool. Because you see that divider right here? That divider comes out. All of this furniture here comes out on both sides. And this can become a huge um, full beam um, aft stateroom with two heads. Um, each of these cabins their own head um so it's really really cool um really cool setup and then here coming forward on the start side is uh is the chart table and i've got of course uh, the weather channel four and then i've also got uh i'll turn the brightness down on this thing so you can see what i'm looking at here anyways this is just uh tri data wind um, so on and so forth. Right now, we're sustaining uh, in the 20s, and you know it's it's gusting up to like 35. I think I saw it's coming roughly out of the south. Um, actually, really the the southeast, um, and it's shifting and shearing to the south or from the south rather. Here's the electrical panel. More electrical panel. Xantrax battery monitor. Genset controls. Um, secondary battery charger control, AC control, um, DVD player, and so on and so forth. This is the main salon here, and it's uh, it's very very spacious. It's a really really cool cool salon. There's a mini bar over here. It's pardon the mess, by the way, guys. The uh, we we actually are living on the boat, um, not full time, but when we come to Miami, we stay on the boat. So this is uh ice maker in there, little table here. This is a big settee that seats like nine people. It's really 
quite comfortable, and it's a very spacious. These deck salons are extremely spacious. Um, very much an entertaining boat um, in terms of uh, a monohull. Of course, this is um, facing aft here. And for anyone that's watched the prior videos, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see through. Yeah, there's no way you can really see. But yeah, maybe a little bit. It's blowing out there, and uh, our tender is up on the arch, and it's uh, faring very well. Oh, I installed these security cameras, so that's pretty cool. Um, these security cameras allow me to check on the boat when I am gone. There's TV here. I'm just kind of taking this opportunity to visit with you guys a little bit because uh, we haven't really done that yet. And we're kind of, you know, we're stuffed up in the boat here, getting ready for it to really start blowing. And I figured, well, this would be kind of an exciting time to do this. So let me flip the camera back around. All right, this is going forward to uh, the master cabin. Hey, I just saw Fish Fanatic. One of my long, long, long time uh, YouTube buddies from Redneck Homestead and beyond, Fly JFY. And great to see you, man. Always good to see you. Um, love to catch up with you some more sometime. I don't know why I'm zooming. Come on. There we go. That's a little better. This is the master cabin up here. And uh, I have this desk here set up as an office so I can work uh, from home. And uh, that's pretty cool. So I have a you know an office phone here, computer, whatever. I have uh, the internet using this T-Mobile cellular-based internet system. Um, it's really cool. It's high speed. It's unlimited. It's fairly inexpensive. The only beef that I have with it is it gets hot, and when it gets hot and overheats. It is essentially useless and you have to physically reboot it. So that's a problem. I keep it right in front of the air conditioner. Um, there's a big king bed here and you know, lots of stores, lockers and whatever. Like I said, sorry guys, it's really, it's really kind of messy and you're, you're seeing the worst of it. But uh, this is the master head forward here. Um, you know, shower, separate shower. Um, what else? Anything you guys want to uh, want to see? This is a brand new channel, and we don't have a lot of subscribers yet. But you know, we feel like the adventure that uh, we're embarking upon will draw some uh, some viewers, kind of like Redneck Homestead did. Hey, while I'm here, I guess I'll show you uh, I'll show you the engine for anyone that cares about engines. Uh, get that. Get that. Pull that open, and there's the uh, engine room, I guess. Not really much of a room, but there's access um, panels on both sides, and then there's access panels um, from the from the aft cabins as well. I'm gonna close that. Watch out, Griffin. Yeah, Griffin and Joshua have been uh, getting along pretty well, but. We've had some serious fights brewing, and so Griffin wasn't uh, in the mood to be very friendly because he just got disciplined, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, you're not going to tell him what he did. That's not. That's not right. Let's put. Let's put it this way. Griffin kicked Joshua in a place that hurt very, very badly, <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you? Huh, Punky? Anyways, um, really wish I could show you topside. It's uh, it's really awesome. Cockpit on this boat. I guess I could. You guys want to stick your head out and see what's up there? Oh, it's raining. I took all the canvas down. Uh, not all of it, but most canvas down. It's blowing pretty good right now. And uh, if you can see, there's a lot of sailboats in this marina. A lot of big power boats also. Um, the dinghy's flying off the uh, off the arch and doing very well. Knock on wood, it will continue to. But you can see off in the distance there, the uh, palm trees are really yeah, it's pretty cool. 
All right, um, hey, Griffin, go down. Go down, buddy. No. Go down, buddy. Go down, pal. I'm gonna go up top side and try to show you what's going on live. Zoom out, I think I accidentally zoomed in. Yep, there we go. That's my buddy Gavin's boat right there. And, uh, gosh, it's really dark. You're not gonna see much. Just, but these phone cams aren't very good in low light at all. So this is kind of live from Hurricane Ada. Live from Ada. Right? You need to go downstairs. Right, I'm going to go downstairs also, guys. Fortunately, it's not raining too badly right now. All right, well, as I make my way down, I'm also going to uh, say thanks for tuning in. And I appreciate you guys having uh, a few extra moments in your day to share with us. And we will be back as often as we can. Griffin, please keep it down, bud. And if you uh, think you might be interested in uh, following uh, our adventures we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe you know what to do press that subscribe button tell them what to press the subscribe button right and subscribe button and uh, if you want to get notified when we come out with additional content and videos make sure you hit that little bell and uh, say notify every time we come out with something and uh, tell your friends when you hit the thumbs up button by the way it tells YouTube that, hey, I like videos like this. And, you know, if you're, you know, if you're interested in sailing or boats or whatever, YouTube is more likely to show our videos to other people, show our videos to you, and it just kind of creates this, uh, this mesh network. So we'd appreciate uh, the support, guys, and uh, we'll be back. I'll, uh, I'll tune in with you tomorrow, and you can tell me, um, you can tell me, uh, what you've heard about the hurricane, I can tell you whether it's true or not. So uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. See you guys.